for a guaranteed lockdown. Uh, in addition to their fighting against the Sivir with Spell Shield and on the hunt, that added mobility, those extra shields from Oriana coming out later as well. Shield on Rumble too, Lantern a bit of a shield on Thresh too. So a lot of defensive tools on H2K's side. Very many defensive tools indeed for H2K. They can play passive if they want, but I have a feeling it might be a little bit different. Why don't you guys go ahead and share your feelings with us, however. Go ahead and tweet us at LL Esports. H2K win, EL win, one of the two will be your option as we go onto the board to start the game. H2K versus week three, and Yarnin has kind of stepped up in that role. He's, he's become a lot more of a damage threat as we see Jay Wow wandering right into the flame spitter. I don't think he expected this many members of H2K there. He's gonna have to burn his flash as Kazing's hook goes a little bit too Need some help, close though. for comfort. Yes, he's got some backup. Froggen might be leaving him on his own though. Can Jay Wow make his escape through the jungle? This is not the way you want to start. And the boomerang blade, not enough, but another flash from Odo Omne. And first blood, a minute 15. Jay Wow taken down immediately, oversteps his boundaries to see as JWoww and Dexter are going to be dueling up on the Blue Sentinel. Lulex down at his own, and Promise Q is going to run right and smack dab into Kasing and Yarnin. You're not going anywhere. Get back in the hook. Promise Q is going down, and Yarnin starts out with a kill. That man's on a secret mission, seeing if they can bait Yarnin and Kasing. He will come up here. The, the flash forward with the Janet Tornado means Yarnin is going to be the one targeted out. Dexter moving forward, and he just needs an auto attack, but they give it over to Tabs. Kasing now, belly bumped up. Tabs dashing forward, the barrel knocking him again, and he looks like he's about to go down. It's Promise Q with the Tornado to finish it off. And this time... And that's the problem. Once this matchup goes a little bit too far in one side, you always have to run the risk of uh, finding the enemy jungler in that brush and then indicating that you're going to lose a 2v2. Teleport, though. On the hunt as well. Yarn and Spell Shields, the Janet Tornado. In comes Otowamne, throws down the Equalizer. Tabs and Promise Q, both forced to spend Flash, and a teleport cancelled by Jay Wow. Good cancel by Jay Wow. This is exactly what he needs. Some breeding room at the cost of two flashes on elements. Dexter's poison mid, though. Yep, and Froggen is the one that takes a shockwave, but Ryu is the one that gets knocked back the wrong direction. And Froggen will pick him up with the help of Dexter. Fantastic combo by Dexter that leaves Ryu no chance to reply with his flash of his own. In reaction to that tower on the top lane, falls. Culminated in that one pickup on Ryu. Odoamne now moving into the mid. Froggen post to backing away. Element should not have this tower. They do not have the wave, Don't and Odoamne is flashing. That is a ballsy move, and he nearly burns him down. Dexter's there, but so is Lulex, and he turns it on again. There's the monsoon. What's stronger? The flame spinner is, and Lulex will pick up the kill. Hook flying. Doesn't land on Dexter. Odo Omne, this guy, this damage, he knows he's done. Dexter is cooked, and he is well done. Odo Omne with the place. Flashes in for the harpoon. Knows that he can roast. Up. Instead, he goes back to the farm. Let's see if he can get out of this one. Jay Wow and Dexter pop out the brush. Dexter waiting to try and body slam him. He actually uses his explosive cast. Odoamne equalizers down, but he won't last that much longer as he turns on the flame spinner. Zanyas looks for Jay Wow, realizes he's not got the damage, but Lulex back up. Here comes the cavalry, and the fat man is going down. The cavalry arrived. That Zonia's hourglass bought him enough time, but action on the bot lane. Kasing puts the box down, and him and Yarnin will make it out alive. We're by no means an early game team. Want the mid game. Whoop. Froggen and Dexter are looking to make a desperate charge. Yarnin's there, and in from the backside comes Jay Wow as he gets a big gnar back because things going nowhere, but they invest a lot into this one. In comes the Rek'Sai. side. Lulex onto Tabs. He's got a nice shield on from the Janna, but still. Bold move, Odo Omne flashing forward. That's going to prompt an answer from some Elements members. Promise Q, he is way too squishy for this one. The Nar Smash won't be nearly enough. And Odo Omne, 4 and 0, looking to add to that score as he throws down the Equalizer. Lulex still on the chase. The barrel slowing, but not enough. Tabs has to flash away from the Flame Spinner. Big Barrel comes out. JWoww's got no Nar Bar, and he's all alone. Goodbye, Odo Omne with the fifth kill on the game. Another offensive flash by Odo Omne on his Rumble. And Force them into very predictable plays. Very defensive plays as well, but this time they're on the offense. Dexter is gonna throw out the barrel, but Ryu is getting back with the lantern. In comes a couple of teleports. JWoww not sure where to go as he's not got Meganar yet, but the rest of his team is burning away as Monsoon is on. Lulex and Odoamne in the back. They pick up tabs, looking for more. Odoamne gets a shield, and Lulex on the chase to try and finish the rest of Elements. So far, they picked up JWoww and tabs, and it looks like that'll be enough as they turn their attention there, but. Not much of anyone else. Dexter could potentially roll in the barrel, flash in for a smite attempt. Yes, he's dude. got the barrel on. He's got to try this. This is a desperation attempt. He goes forward, but he's not got the timer on it. Secured up by Ryu. Down goes Dexter. And the five-man squad of H2K have a window here. 
Yeah, well, now it's elements have to secure all of Thassa's other base, but another inhibitor turret's about to go down. In comes the Meganar. Bignar gets the wall, but he's not going to be able to do much more. That's a Meganar, and his health bar is evaporating. Oda Wamne, Lulex in the front line. Dexter, the barrel. Froggen, he's going down. Pulled back in by the Shockwave as Oda Wamne's still alive in all this. Meganar is going down as soon as he transforms. Bromiscu, he's not going to the right base, and now the Nexus turrets are going down. The only member alive from elements is their support, and I'm not sure what one get Janna can do do against so many. Another Nexus turret going down. H2K finally will secure the ace. The Nexus is bare and a methodical and surgical dismantling of elements is completed.